Today we're going to be taking a look at the $25 JLab Pop webcam. This is a 2.1 megapixel webcam which translates to 1920 by 1080 and can record at 30 frames per second. There is no microphone on this webcam so take that into account if it's something that you would need. Getting it out of the box here, it's just two pieces of cardboard that hold it in, and yeah, it's your pretty standard looking webcam. It does have a large privacy filter on the front there, and you do have the ability to rotate this thing 360 degrees, so if you need to turn it around for any reason while it's mounted, that's a pretty neat little feature. I do like that it also has a very large and obvious privacy filter there as well, so making sure that the webcam is open and closed shouldn't be too much of a problem. You'll see the big old branding there. As far as the rest of the box, there's not much, there's no documentation. There is a QR that you can scan there if you want to get a manual or just go to their website. For testing, we are going to go ahead and use the JLab Pop, and we're going to compare it to the $4 to $5 little webcam that we got off of AliExpress to see if it's better than that, as well as go a step higher and go for a Logitech C920, which is a bit more of a premium webcam, and see how these compare. This is their general pricing here, four to five for the AliExpress one, there's 40 to 50 for the Logitech, and 20 to 25 for the JLab. And we're gonna test it to see how it looks inside of OBS. Okay, so this is the AliExpress one that we were using here. This is the one that only costs about $5 to see how the video quality is. You can see on the sides here where it actually looks like it's bending and bowing. It's got a little bit of like a fisheye effect going on. Um, you do have to manually focus this one here using the actual lens. That's how that one works. It's only a few dollars. And you can see there's a pretty good amount of pixelation going on, especially like on the CRT here. You can see like each individual pixel that's going on. That being said, if you shrink this down for something like, you know, streaming or something where you're only going to be a few inches on somebody's screen, it'll get the job done to get started. Okay, and now we are using the JLab Pop, and you'll see that this is again at 30 frames per second here, but you'll notice that the pixelation on this side here is a lot more refined. You can still see the pixels, but they're a lot smaller. It's not as chunky as it was before. So that's nice to see. Uh, the settings here are a little bit better than before too, as far as it goes in OBS. You can change like your brightness. Uh, there is a focus that you can change here as well, uh, where you can set it to autofocus, or you can turn that off, which is nice. There is no way to turn off the low light compensation, which I always feel like helps out when you're using these kind of cameras, but you can tweak the brightness to whatever you want it to be. If you want to wash it out or bring it down where I think this actually looks a bit better as we're getting a bit dimmer here. So some settings can be changed on this one for sure. Now let's go ahead and switch over to the Logitech one to see how that performs in comparison. Now this is the Logitech C920 at stock settings here. This is gonna be using what it comes right out of the box. And I'm never uh, crazy about how the frame rate is here. It seems that these ones do a little bit better when you actually change the video settings and turn off the low light compensation. If you have like an adequate ring light or something like that, look at how much better that is. And yeah, you can see a difference here as far as the quality between the Logitech and the JLab. Clearly there's a difference, but this one is also a bit more expensive, so it makes sense. It seems like as far as the spectrum of these three go, each one is uh, about in the right price range for what it is that it does. And I'll switch back to it now just to show you how it actually looks. So again, this is the C920 here, and we're gonna go ahead and switch back over to the pop. And yeah, there you go. So yeah, you can see that there's a little bit of a quality difference between the two, but hey, take it for what it's worth. I just like to test these things and review it and give you my honest thoughts and see where it goes. If you can get this one for, I don't know, 10 to $20, then yeah, it's probably a decent little webcam to upgrade from, or if you don't have a webcam at all. If you're looking for a bit more of a serious product, then I would suggest looking at something like the Logitech C920. And if you're looking for something just to show pictures and really get anything done, then hey, you got this cheap guy here for only a few dollars that will, uh, that'll work if you need it to. So, and it looks like that one's actually at a higher frame rate, which is funny, like I said, lowering the resolution sometimes will actually increase the frame rate. It doesn't look great, but I'm on screen and it'll get you started. So there's three options you could use there. Let me know which one you're gonna go with. Cheers.